Hello and welcome. My name is Tyler Wood and I'm the Managing Director of Global Business Development. It's my pleasure to announce that after nearly 50 years of service to the financial industry, the Market Technicians Association has changed our name to the CMT Association. Our leadership team, including board members, founding members, and senior leaders, recommended that the members approve changing our organization's name. After years of consideration, multiple town hall meetings, open debate, and direct feedback, the motion was put to a vote. 86.4% of voting members cast ballots in support of the change. Results were tabulated and communicated at a special member meeting of the members on July 14, 2017. This short video is about sharing the rationale and details of our name change and how this simple consolidation of brand acronyms will help our association execute on our mission to advance the discipline of technical analysis. It's important to note that other than these visible changes, the association will continue to operate in its current structure with no change in staff or volunteer leaders. Your contacts for all outgoing projects and initiatives will remain unchanged. And furthermore, the mission and goals of the association remain unchanged as well. The CMT Association will continue to be a place for collegial discourse and an exchange of ideas amongst like-minded professionals. Whether you are a charter holder or not, your membership status will not change. Having carefully considered the implications of the legal name change, our leadership team felt that it was imperative to rationalize the number of acronyms out in the industry. Our current staff and board have taken careful consideration around the positioning of the organization as a global professional body and our discipline in a rapidly changing industry where the CMT has come to provide value to a wide variety of job roles in the financial industry. Finally, our goal is to align our brand according to best practice in our industry, which will help convey the professionalism of technical analysis to diverse audiences, removing inconsistency and brand confusion. When you think about how the MTA started in the late 1960s and early 70s, there was no professional credential. There was no CMT curriculum or exam process. It was indeed an association of market technicians in New York, which then quickly expanded to Boston. This process is about continuing the efforts of Bob Farrell and Alan Shaw, of John Brooks and Ralph Acampora. We see that an association of chartered market technicians elevates the professionalism of our entire membership and really holds true to their core values when they founded the organization nearly 50 years ago. Fast forward to today, we like to think about the MTA as a 50 year old startup with tremendous growth and lots of opportunity for all of our volunteers and engaged members. We're seeing rapidly increasing participation from financial centers such as Mumbai, Hong Kong, Singapore, Dubai, and many others throughout the Asia Pacific region. And as we go to market in each of these new countries, managing awareness for two different acronyms and brands really dilutes our impact on behalf of members. The mission of the MTA is to establish and maintain the highest professional standards among technical analysts. That remains completely unchanged. We do this by educating the investment community about the theory, practice, and application of technical analysis. That remains completely unchanged. And we've seen that new members are coming to us for this educational content, but more specifically, they're coming for the CMT designation, which represents an immediate recognition of a mastery of a defined body of knowledge and the global standard for all professional technical analysts. That's the major change that we've seen over the 50 years and why we see that aligning to that professional credential makes sense for our members, our charter holders, and our organization moving forward. When we look to best practice in our credentialing space, there's a very vivid case study coming from AMER, which then evolved into the CFA Institute. Leading up into the mid 2000s, the CFA Institute was comprised of disparate local organizations that all carried independent acronyms and brand identities. The CFA Institute launched an international rebranding campaign to consolidate all member societies around their global charter, the CFA. And when we look at new entrants into the credentialing space, they have followed this same best practice, aligning everything around the charter for which they and their members are recognized. 
So our 2017 name change is about rationalizing the number of acronyms out in the marketplace. This is a brand consolidation, not a drastic departure. The elements you've come to recognize about the brand will be preserved, as will the mission and values of the organization. So following best practice in the industry, we're aligning the organization around the credential. This is the keystone of our value proposition and the core asset for which we are known. CMT Association will provide better recognition for the enterprise and for each charter holder around the globe. Transitioning from the name Market Technicians Association to CMT Association, we retain the full meaning of the name while simplifying to an acronym. This also provides flexibility for the CMT to evolve and take on context specific meaning for varied charter holders and functional roles across the industry. CMT has come to represent value for data visualization experts, for fund managers, traders, financial analysts, and client advisors. We hope to continue that evolution and expansion of the utility and professionalism of technical analysis. So let's take a look at what this new logo and name really entails. We will keep the existing font for CMT as it has appeared in marketing since the fall of 2015. And that provides a clear articulation of the name without a whole lot of artistic interpretation. We will retain the red bar chart M graphic that provides emphasis to the word market, which is a core component of studying price behavior and of technical analysis. Our new name is consistent with nearly 50 years as an association organized around a joint purpose to advance the discipline of technical analysis. We are not a lobbying organization or trade association and therefore several other terms felt inappropriate and not, not for our use. We did carefully consider CMT Institute, but as it was used by our association for an exam prep product and connotes a very specific research uh, orientation, we didn't feel that was appropriate either. We've chosen fonts that are clean, modern, and provide a friendly look and feel for the organization. And finally, the registered mark CMT will continue to be protected, but by consolidating our acronyms, we reduce brand confusion in the marketplace and streamline our legal protections as well. I think the value of this brand consolidation is best captured when we think about the advocacy efforts we engage in on behalf of our members and charter holders. When we approach large investment firms about the value of hiring a CMT charter holder or about supporting the education and professional development of their current employees, we see that a consolidated brand would expedite those efforts. When we reach out to regulatory bodies and exchanges about exempting CMT charter holders on various licensing exams or recognizing the CMT, our brand is coming across with more complexity and confusion than is needed. We're basically splitting every effort in half as we try to create awareness for both the MTA and the CMT simultaneously. Furthermore, we now have a consolidated curriculum and the marketing efforts of our publisher, Wiley, are all aimed around CMT. We need to align around those efforts to the benefit of all of our existing members and the organization as we look to grow worldwide. So in conclusion, we want to emphasize that whether you hold the CMT charter or not, this effort does not change your membership status in the association, nor does it diminish the resources and effort being applied to our various continuing edu education and programming. We hope that you like this new look for the CMT so Association as much as we do and understand the rationale and the urgency for making the change at this time. As we approach a special vote of the members, you can look for more updates and a broader presence as we continue to improve our service to the members and the industry through all of our programming and initiatives. Again, we welcome you to share some feedback through the surveys on this page or directly to the staff or board members by phone or email at any time. Thank you so much for listening, and we look forward to talking with you soon.